Welcome to our Photoshop tutorial on mastering the art and science of selection tools. Let's get started. First up is the Magic Wand tool, perfect for selecting areas of similar color with just a single click. Let's try it on this image. Adjust the tolerance level to make your selection more or less inclusive of similar colors. Next, we have the Lasso tools, which are great for freehand selections. You have three options here. The standard lasso, the polygonal lasso for straight-edged selections, and the magnetic lasso that clings to edges as you move your cursor. For the standard lasso tool, this is more hands-on and may not be as precise as it relies on your mouse cursor. Simply use your cursor to follow along the side of your image that you select. The polygonal lasso tool allows you to make a selection from your image through straight lines like this. This is more easier and beginner friendly and can help you get more accurate selections. Simply follow along the sides of the image that you want to select. The last one of the lasso tools is the magnetic lasso tool. It is probably the easiest lasso tool to use. But one thing to take note of is that you have to make sure that the part of the image that you want to select has a clear distinction from the background. To use the magnetic lasso tool, just click on your starting point and then hover your cursor around the sides of the image that you want to select. For the ultimate precision, the pen tool allows you to create paths that can be converted into selections. It's a bit more advanced, but incredibly powerful. Make sure that at the top toolbar, it is stated as a path. If not, you can change it this way. Then you can start adding your points. It is important to take note that this is more advanced, and there are more videos out there that can explain this better. But basically, you will add points throughout the part of the image that you want to select. Clicking through parts will create a straight path, while clicking and dragging will create curves. It is important to be patient at this stage, especially if you are a beginner. Then, after completing your path, just right-click the path and select the Make Selection. Then it'll create a selection based on your path. Before we wrap up, here are some quick tips to elevate your selection game. Go to Select and Mask to enter a workspace designed for refining your selections. Here, you can smooth edges, feather them, and even use the brush tools to manually adjust the selection. And there you have it, a guide to mastering the selection tools in Photoshop. With practice, you'll find which tools and techniques work best for your projects. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and drop a comment if you have any questions. <laughs> Thank you!